Hi everyone! So for today's video, I'm finally making one of the most requested videos that people have asked me and that is to provide some guidance on how everyone who's doing SMS marketing can actually hit above 85% uh, delivery rate, which is basically for some, it's actually hard to get because they would you know, encounter errors 3007 were in the carriers that are actually filtering their messages, hence lower delivery rate. So for today, I'm actually check, um, sharing our our own checklist or basically our own best practices on how we're avoiding errors 3007 to get at least 80-85% delivery rate every single day for clients and also for our company. All right, so here on my screen, all the way to the left is where you can see the 10 checklists exactly what we're doing. And then over to the right is how we can actually apply these practices or best practices over to your platform, which is either high level or probably REI to apply. All right, so the very first thing, so you guys can actually see that I'm inside my workflow in REI Reply, but if you'd notice, the very first thing that you really should be doing is making sure that you actually have your phone validation enabled. Not a lot of people actually know this, but one of the features that is inside high level is for the system to actually take out all the bad phone numbers before you are able to send out text message. And of course, there is an additional charge, but I think it's worth it because if you if you think about the charge um, to enable it, you can go to settings and then from the settings, you'd have this option in the general setting to validate phone number when first SMS is set um, is sent to a new contact. It, it costs about 0 0.005 per contact, which actually meant that if you, you know, if you have at least 500 texts going per day, that's just an additional $2.50. And that's actually going to save you from getting your account suspended. So I think it's really worth it to have that enabled. So whenever you send out text messages, then at least the system can avoid sending it to any bad phone numbers. Okay. So that's the first thing, very first thing that I would highly recommend anyone, um, you know, anyone doing SMS marketing. All right. So the second thing that we're actually doing, so if I go back to the automation and workflows, I have here our SMS mar master template draft for, you know, for our text messages um, or for our text campaigns. So one of the things that we do is imagine that you have your phone validation enabled. So when we add contacts in here, we're also adding triggers that whenever the system actually see an error coming from that phone validation system, we, you know, we, we have, we will add that as a trigger to make sure that any, any contacts that are part of that wouldn't be, wouldn't be added into our workflow or our campaign. Okay. So second is, Making sure, I think I've, I've said this multiple times in a lot of my videos, is to actually keep it under 200 contacts per phone number. So this means that you should be able to set up a workflow or a system in your workflow that assigns or round robins the phone number into your campaign. So here you can see that my very first action right after this, you know, this event is triggered is to make sure that this campaign is assigned to multiple um, people or at least multiple phone numbers in my system. So here I will go ahead and select, okay, which phone numbers I will be using. And I can decide to make sure that this is, you know, these numbers are equally used inside my workflow. So for us, we normally just send less than 500 texts per day. Hence, we will only be needing at least two to or technically three to four phone numbers just to be safe because again we want to keep it under 200 contacts per phone number so next is definitely making sure although this is not part of my checklist but also making sure that we're not contacting any people that have been previously tagged as dnd so if you've done your marketing campaigns in the past and you have these people tag as dnd to make sure you're not contacting contacting the same people is to make sure that you have enabled uh, the, the you know you have enabled this option or condition like if an else condition that if that contact has been part of DND before then you were not going to be sending them any text message hence if they're part of the DND we'll just be adding them or we'll just be adding a contact at that DND 
And then obviously for those who's not been or who were not part of it, we will continue on our checklist. And the ver- uh, the third thing that we do is we definitely processed everything in drip mode. Um, I really like that this feature has been added by high level and REI reply. So kudos guys, because this allows us now to make sure that all of our text message is equally distributed. And other than that, making sure that texts are actually coming out as a natural um, text, meaning to say, you know, human can only, a person can only send at least one text in 30 seconds or a minute. So by doing this on, on drip mode, so meaning keeping it under two texts per minute, it's actually allowing the system to not send the text all at once, but rather sending it um, in drip, meaning um, slowly. So this means the system will equally choose the phone numbers and it's going to send two texts per minute per phone number, right? So that's what we want to achieve, making it really natural that it's not coming from an automated platform to avoid your account from getting suspended or from getting flagged by the carriers. So the moment that's actually set like to drip, meaning all the text message to go out in drip mode, we also set conditions. If you'd notice, one of the uh, one of the things that I did mention here is actually making sure that you have at least four to six templates, meaning for any initial text message you're using, because you don't want the carriers to be seeing that you're sending just one, you know, same exact messages to like hundreds and hundreds or thousands of contacts. So one of the things that we do is we prepare at least four four to six different variations of this initial SMS. Um, so if you'd notice, we did create an if and else condition that we do have separate templates sending out between 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. We have um, a template sending out between 11 a.m. to 12 noon and so on and so on. So basically, this allows the system to make sure that it will only pick this template if it hits this condition, which is 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Hence, we're creating variations that we're sending different SMS messages every hour. All right, so here you can see that one of the things that we do is also we make sure that all of our text message is under 160 characters. And guys, this is very important because if you try to draft like a really long text message, there's a big tendency that it gets it, it's going to get suspended. And that's based on experience. So here, one of the things that we do is before we uh, before we try to put that in a template, we definitely put that under chat GPT just to say that, hey, can you keep this under 160 characters? Or, you know, like, can you paraphrase this and provide me with another version of this text message? So that allows us to creating one template, two template with pretty much the same, um, I would say content, but just different ways of saying things uh, through text messages. All right, so here in the past, uh, there is normally like the character count within the workflow, which one of the feature that I asked um, high level to put back is in the campaign before it has that uh, feature where you can see like how many characters are already in your text, but it's missing here. So high level, if you're seeing this video, please, please make sure to have that added so we, you know, we can be more cautious on how many characters are already in our initial text message. So other than this one is definitely avoiding shortened links. So we're talking about creating your SMS template. So making sure that you're not using any links or emojis because obviously if the carriers do detect any emojis or shortened links that can get, you know, that can get your account suspended or it can actually get your SMS not delivered. The very most important Part of this checklist is also avoiding any spam keywords. So guys, I actually have a list of keywords or flag words that the carriers heavily blocked by, I mean, by the national phone providers so that the carriers do have this on their database that if they detect any of these languages, it automatically block the message. So trying to avoid any of these keywords definitely will help you get your messages delivered. Okay, um, this, you know, this other two or this last one or last two on our checklist, like including opt out language language. This has been a requirement by all carriers to make sure, especially if it's an initial text message to always, always add your opt out language uh, for us guys to still 
keep or to still get higher response rate instead of using the word stop we just say cancel to opt out because you know mentally people wouldn't really see that cancel as stop so you, you can be more creative but definitely you have to have your opt out language in your text messages and then finally because i've already mentioned that four to six templates finally do not forget to introduce yourself and your company um, you can use your friendly business name because some other people would like to protect their business and to not mention their actual LLC name. That's fine for as long as you have your friendly business name inside your account. So, so, so as long as you have followed all of these checklists, I can assure you that definitely you can get your messages delivered because for us, we've been doing this for four years and so far we've been able to maintain at least 85, 80 to 80 five percent delivery rate and some are like even 95 percent and normally the errors we're getting are just the usual errors 3005 and 3006 for dead phone numbers but again you can avoid that if you do have your phone validation turned on i really do hope that this video helps you out um, i tried to keep it under 10 minutes but it seemed like it's actually more than that so if you have any questions clarification on this please let me know on the comment section i'll definitely drop as well this sms delivery deliverability, deliverability checklist for your reference thank you guys for watching hope you like and subscribe to to get more updates on my videos have a nice day